today I've got some client work to do so but um, while I'm here I'm going to show you guys how to get the tempo of a track or find the tempo of a song because um, a lot of you have been requesting it so while I'm here I'm going to show you how to do it so I'll load up this song that a client wants What I usually do is I usually set up the loop, four bar loop, and put on the and put on the click. As you can hear, the click's off, which means that the BPM isn't on. Set to 154. I can hear straight away that this song isn't a 154 BPM. So what you will do is you will set your four bar loop because that's where it should loop. Um, it's when you, you know you got the BPM right is when it loops smoothly. Look. See, it didn't finish this. Um, it didn't finish the loop of the song, the 4x4, four four, yeah? So you're going to need to lower it. So we're looking we're looking for a, we're looking for this. Tap, 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 tap. At the moment, it's going tap. So um, it's all lost. <laughs> it's all lost. So we're going to need to go... Um, First of all, you want to set the front of the song and make sure that the, the waveform is starting exactly on where the beat starts. So you see here, we've got all empty space. We need to clean that up. We need to trim that, scrub that up. All right, so you need your wave to be starting there. So that's where the song actually starts. So you need to get a true starting point. All right. So now we've got our true starting point. You literally just go up and up until you hear the... Um, the BPM count in line with the rhythm. As you can hear, it's, it's, it's closer, so we're looking for tap, 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 tap. It's a bit dragging. There we have it. Tap, 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 tap. So you know your BPM is going to sit around 96. Sometimes, sometimes what I do is, after I've done that, it can sometimes sound okay down here, and then when you go up here, and, and you know, in the middle of the song, it won't sound in time skip. But as you can hear, it's in time still. So, that's how you know, and that's how you find the BPM and the tempo of songs. You drag in the file. You scrub up the front, make sure it's in line, you start it, you set your four bar loop, you play, and then you just keep up in the tempo or low in the tempo until you get your rhythmic tap, 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 tap. And the benefits of doing this and finding your tempo is that when you record 